back on the siren. Um, been working on the thing down the bulwarks here on the inside. This, this, what was it, the port side? Left side, port side. Got that pretty thin, so I'll go work on the starboard side, but I figured I'd start working on getting the planking in here. To that end, the first planking is 3 16 inch wide by 16 thick, and it should come up just to the bottom of the gun ports. That way it can uh, be nice and smooth, you can get it painted red, and it'll look like it's supposed to be there. So I'm working on getting that done. Looks like I need to thin it, make it a little bit uh, narrower board to make it fit either. I notch out for around the gun ports. But I think it's working pretty good. What I've been doing is I got this back notched for the um, transom. I've just been taking my plane and just taking, shaving just a little bit off of it to make it a little bit thinner. That way it will fit in there and cover everything up. But not go over the top of the gun ports themselves. It's going to be interesting because it has to bend with the bow ship this way. It also has to bend to the bow ship the way the deck is shaped. So once this gets glued in and clamped in, it should be good. Looks like got a little spot here to work on to shave it down. And all those spots, which is right here, has been just, just basically using the chisel to, or in this case a gouge, to take it down. Right there, I think I had a glue bump. As I get it in, flip it over, look at the outside, see if it looks good. Looks good there. This is a little high, but I think it'll be fine. That's looking pretty good. Look on the inside. Looks like I could take this spot right here down a little bit. Probably right here. A little bit right here. Don't want to go too far, but you want to keep it so it's a nice fair curve. You still have the uh, deck planking to go on as well. As I go down, it looks like there's a gap here, so this one and this one could probably go down a little bit. So just slowly ease it down. Until you're happy with it. Right there, I'm pretty happy with that. Seems to be a little bit high right there, but I think I'll just press down in. So I can get that piece glued in, then I can work on the bow one. Every plank above this will be um, eighth inch wide rather than three sixteenths. So I'm going to continue on this side and come back when this side is done. And actually, come back when this side is done, let you see it, and then I'll get this side done off camera. It's just going to be done the same way. But it's going to be done the same way as the outside, where every one of these planks has to be cut between the ports and between the full ports and the gun ports. So I'll start on that and come back when it's done. Just real quick, I thought I'd share what it takes to clamp that first piece in. We have what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14 clamps in here to hold it down and in. So once that's dry, I can work on the front one, the bow. The bow will have to be soaked to get this curve in it. No big deal. I'll do that once the stern is dry. I'm doing it in two pieces because that way I can fit it to the bow and trim it. That way I can fit the stern piece in, get it so it looks nice, then put, take the bow piece I can fit it to the joint for the stern. Just it right up midships now. Hopefully it'll be nice and smooth. I'm going to come back and sand this whole thing smooth on the inside before I paint it anyway. But still, you want to get it as smooth as you can and as nice a curve as you can. Well, we're about halfway through getting the planking on this port side bulwark. Uh, I thought I'd kind of give an idea of what I'm doing here. So, other than using every clamp I have at my disposal. Get these out of the way here. <clears throat> First piece is a wide piece. It comes up to the bottom of the cannon ports. Next piece is right above that. Have a cutout for the sweep port and the cannon port. What I did is I cut off a nice straight edge. 
and then marked it out so it's a little bit longer than it needs to be, glued it in so that the straight edge forms the sweep port and it hangs over into the cannon port. Did that on all those, trimmed them. Next layer up, I let it hang along on both sides. It goes on the, like this one here, so it goes into the cannon ports on both sides and trimmed those off. As soon as you get to the top of the cannon port, you got one that can go all the way across, and that one needs to the top, top of it trimmed out. But once you get them trimmed out by hand, they get a nice straight line here. Make sure you have a very, very sharp knife or a fresh blade in your scalpel or exacto. And all I've been doing, where they're at, like this one here, I come onto the ins outside of the ship and just start cutting and drawing it so I'm pulling the plank into the bulwark rather than pushing away. You want to start, oops, don't want to break it like that. But you want to start however you can get in there. Start just carving it away a little bit at a time until you get to where you want to be. Always pushing it in so you're put, not splintering out like I did this one here. Go to the next one, same thing, start a little bit away from the edge. Keep carving it off until you get right where you want to be. Don't worry about scratching up your red paint in your cannon port. You're going to be able to touch that up anyway, like the bottom of this one here. I'm going to get over these right at the top and come in. See what I'm doing here. Start shaving it away. And there's the plank that goes over the edge. Same on that one. Then you start cutting into these that are top plank and just start carving it away. As you do that, you'll get it right in where you want it to be. Don't worry about carving too much away. If you have to shim the top of it to get the red line back, go ahead and do that. I'll probably do that on this one here since it took a little bit too much out. But when you look at the inside, you can get a nice, find you get a nice straight edge. You can touch it up. It's like this area right here needs to be touched up a little bit to get a nice straight corner. And then this one right here. Keep doing that until you're happy with it. Get a little file in there, sand it, whatever you have to do. Get your nice straight corner. Don't be afraid to have to put wood back. It's all going to be painted red. You're not going to see if you had to shim it up or anything. Like I said, I think I have to shim up this. I'll have to trim this flat and then put a little piece of wood in here and shape it how I want it. Let's keep going like that. I decided that these sweet ports, doesn't matter how they look on the outside, there's going to be a little piece of wood in there anyway. At some point in time, you're going to take a piece of this wood and make a door for it. And those doors are all going to be closed anyway. So I'm going to continue on trimming those suckers off. And then I'm going to go ahead and get this side done and come back when it's ready to sand and paint. So here we have the bulwark paint, uh, planking completed. I think I described before, I went ahead and cut each of these full ports, sweet ports, to the end and let overhang into the can port and then trimmed it off. And then the can ports are just let everything overhang and trimmed it off after I glued it in place. Did a little filling, sanded it down. On the top, to sand the top down flush, I actually use a board that goes across both um, gunnels. So I can have it right on the one that I haven't completed yet and sand the other one down to keep everything as flat as possible. When I do the other side, I'll just turn around and do the other side then. That should be everything roughly level, but more importantly, the top will be flat to the deck as we bring to the deck. So now I can go through and I'm going to paint this side, and after that, I'll go ahead and finish sanding this side down, put the planks in, and paint it. Inside is going to be red, just like everything else. So I just go through and 
Get a nice coat of red paint on it. So there's that one bulwark painted. All I'll do uh, another sand on it. Take down the bumps. Another coat of paint and call it good. Get this other side done and then I can work on doing the waterways and the decks. So here we are. We have bulwarks on both sides put in and painted. A little rough up front here, but I'm not going to worry about that. That's character. Um, next step is to go ahead and put these uh, cap rails on. According to the instructions, the cap rails are made with uh, 3 16th inch wood, I believe. Go to the top and in this front the bow section you're supposed to use some 16th inch sheet stock which is not included to make them I went ahead and used some fall off from one of the sheets at the um, oh, the margin planks are pre-cut from for the bow and there's enough there I can get I believe both the cap rails and the bow in place obviously need shape sanded all that stuff but first I want to get these stern ones on up as far as I can get them. You see they're a little curved. So I want to get soaked and get the curve into them that way. Get them preformed, I think. And then the pretty instructions are supposed to go on so they meet the edge of the outer bulwark with a little bit over here on the inside. Once that's on, then you have another 16th inch piece to put on it, which ended up being the, the cap rails being a quarter inch wide and give you the proper overhang inside and outside. First step is to get the bulwarks on or the cap rails on for the wide section. Get them up as far as I can go so I can trim them and get the um, bow section on. Started one here, got the back end shaped. But like I said, I think I want to get it soaked a bit so I can get it to fit on here earlier with less, less easier, with less stress in the wood. So I think to that end, I need to cut it off up here. And since the curve is here, soak the one in that's going to be up there. I'm not worry about getting exactly square. That'll be trimmed up later. But that should get me up well past where this curve is and actually get me further along than I was hoping. So we'll do that. We'll get them soaking and get them going. Um, once they're soaked, we'll get them clamped in place and clamp them against each one of these cannon openings and across the top. That'll hold it down and it'll hold it um, side to side. So I'll come back when I'm ready for that. So I have this cap rails glued in place. This piece here was cut from a piece of scrap wood to get the bow section of it. Obviously it needs, needs trimmed down to fit. This piece over here, uh, it's soaked and it's just trying to get a curve into on the bow of it. When I get to it, I'll glue it in. Do the same thing I did here, I'll glue it in. Fit to the stern, fit to the bow as much as I can. Glue it all down and then pick a nice spot to cut it. Get rid of the scrap piece. I have another piece here to glue in on the bow. Just to finish off the cap rail there. Once that's done, there will be a 16th inch piece of wood that goes all the way around the outside of it to get the cap rail to its proper width. Get that glued in, sanded, and then I can mask off and paint that all up. And then the cap rails will be done. So I'll get on to that and be back. So I already have this cap rail on. Need to put this one on now, and I'm just using super glue to put it on. I'm ready to use wood glue, but 
with this tension this is under trying to get it on clamped in place I'm going to use super glue and I just do it in sections got a bead on top to how far I want to go and lay it in place it should overhang the inside of here which means it should be flush or just a little bit shy of the outside shear plank Of it. It's very important to make sure you glue your fingers to it at least three times. I love the cyanacrylate. If you haven't glued your fingers to a project with cyanacrylate, then obviously you're doing it wrong. I'm just feeling to see if I have how much of a lip I have on the inside edge. I find the way I have this one sanded, <clears throat> excuse me, the balance turn a little bit thicker, so I generally end up a little bit further towards the interior, putting the cap rail on than I do in the center. But I think this side is being different than the other side, and that it's kind of the opposite. Here I'm shy of the shear plank in here I'm just about at the edge of it get this last little bit on I let it run wrong and long and hang over hang over and then I take the piece that I've made here and cut it to fit both bow and, and where the rest of the cap rail ends you're not gonna get this thing bent all the way around without doing some damage to the board so but you can get it close So here I don't line up, so I'll probably cut it off right in this area somewhere. Maybe a little farther back where I have some overhang on the inside. This side didn't have the overhang. I ended up putting a piece of a uh, shim on here to bring it out a bit. It's all going to be sanded and painted anyway, so it's no big deal. So there's that. Let that thing fully cure for a little bit, and I'll. Put this thing, this piece on. <clears throat> um, bell will need cut. It doesn't have to be exact. I'm going to come back and cut it again later. I want to make sure I get a nice curve on the inside to make it fit. And then wherever I cut it here, cut the other piece to fit and then cut that off straight. These don't need a touch because there's a bow sprit coming through. Once I get this on, I'll come back and I'll get sanded and I'll come back and put this piece on the outside edge. This piece I'll probably just glue on with wood glue since it's going to stick just fine. And it's a pretty flexible piece anyway. Up here I'll probably soak it a bit just to get to shape. Just because I don't want to break it. So there it is, the cap rolls are on place and painted, bulwarks are painted red, next step is to do the deck. That will be for next time, in the meantime, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the flip side.